Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at crop and clip and layer clipping masks in Illustrator for clipping things when you have lines and for getting the results that you want as well. I have four sets of shapes here. They're all identical. The circle with no fill and just an outline, just a stroke is on top of everything. I have a red square with no stroke. I have a square that does have quite a thick stroke and I have a line here. And this line is just a line with a stroke. So I'm going to look at the options that you have for cropping this away so that you get what you want. And the results can be a little bit interesting. So let's select over this group of objects first. And I'm going to use the Pathfinder. So I'll go to the Pathfinder tool and I'll click Crop here on the Pathfinder. And let's see what we've got. Well, it's kind of interesting. Our line has gone entirely. It hasn't been cut, it's just been discarded. So this option is no good if you want to keep open paths, lines, anything like that, gone. But look to what's happened to our square. We've got the portion of the square that was inside the circle, but in this case, we've got the stroke around that portion. So that may or may not be exactly what you want, but that's using the crop tool in the Pathfinder palette. The next option we're going to look at is a clipping mask. The clipping mask feature says that you put the shape that you want to clip to at the very top, select everything, and then choose Object Clipping Mask Make, or you can right click and choose Make Clipping Mask. Now that's given us more of what we want. We've got everything that was in the circle and nothing that was outside of it. And look, the line has been maintained. If we have a look in the Layers palette, let me just reset my tools here. If we have a look in the Layers palette for this shape, we've got a clipping group with all of the objects in it. So the line is still there and it's still the right length. It's still the length it was. It's just that we're not seeing it because it's inside the clipping group. So that may be the feature that you want. You'll end up with a clipping group with your shape and all the objects in it. But I think there's a better method. And this method is something that practically nobody knows about. So let me show you what it is. So I've got all these sets of objects here on a layer by themselves. That's pretty important. Everything that you want clipped has to be on a layer by itself and nothing that isn't supposed to be clipped needs to be on that layer because what's going to happen is we're going to do a layer clipping. Now what's important at this stage is nothing is selected or you just won't get the option that you need. You're going to target the layer but you don't have anything selected here at all. Go to the Fly Out menu and then and only then will you see Make Clipping Mask. So let me just show you what happens if I have something selected. Make Clipping Mask is just not in the menu. It just doesn't even exist. So you're going, wait a minute, she told me it would be there and it's not. Well, it is there, but you need to make sure that nothing is targeted. So just click away from everything, but target the layer because you're saying to Illustrator, this is where I want the Clipping Mask to be. So the Clipping Mask shape is at the top. Nothing is selected. Open the Flyout menu, Make Clipping Mask. At the moment, it looks a little bit like this clipping group, but there is no clipping group. And more than that, if I drag the ellipse to the bottom, it's quite happy to sit at the bottom. So what I've got here is a shape that is clipping the entire contents of this layer. You can see that the result looks identical to the clipping mask, but this is where it's different. If I target the layer and draw an object on the layer, so let me just go and get a cute fill here. And let me draw in this layer by targeting the layer and just draw an oval. You can see that the oval, because it's in that layer, has been added to that layer clipping mask. I really like this solution when you're going to continue to work on the image because you don't have to fiddle around with a clipping group and you don't run the risk of losing the whole process. Here, this ellipse can even be locked down. And even with the ellipse locked down, you can go ahead and add additional shapes to this. So let's go and add a small rectangle. It can be inside that layer or it can be over the edge. And as soon as it's over the edge, it gets clipped to that clipping group. And it can even sit out here. It's just not going to be seen because it's not in a clipping area. But at any stage, you can go and get it and you can resize it or move it or whatever. And as soon as it comes within the sphere of the ellipse, it's going to be clipped. And more than that, let's go and select our 
ellipse. So I'm just going to have to unlock it for a minute. Let's select it. Here is my ellipse. So I can actually enlarge the ellipse. And that just enlarges the entire clipping group. So we're seeing other objects or parts of objects that now appear because the ellipse is larger. Again, just lock it down. The ellipse can be anywhere in here. It doesn't have to be at the top. It doesn't have to be at the bottom. It only has to be at the top when you're first creating the clipping mask for the layer. Because remember, we just selected the layer. And obviously, the Illustrator has to be told which object to use as the clipping mask for the layer. And it's the topmost object. But as soon as you created the clipping mask, then you can move it anywhere. And it, it can just sit in the middle. It's fine. And it's just going to clip the entire layer. That's its purpose. So what I like to do is to lock these down. And sometimes I will actually double click in here and rename it like don't touch me or I'm a clipping mask, be careful or some sort of warning to myself that this object is really seriously there for a purpose. It doesn't have a fill or a stroke. It looks like a no fill, no stroke shape, but this underline is seriously telling me something is going on with it. So next time you need to cut things in Illustrator, these are your options. The crop tool, but watch its impact on lines and also this behavior with shapes that have strokes. This is a clipping mask, nice, quick, easy solution. Not a lot of potential for editing it particularly easy. Love this tool, the layer clipping mask. Now you know what it is, you know how to create it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll let you know when new videos are released. And until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel.